So here's the deal. Today, I'm talking about death. Whoa, Kimosabi, don't touch the back button just yet. This is a lesson I've learned over the past 10 months. Now let me explain. Last November, my mom bravely broke the news to me that she was diagnosed with brain cancer. Then she told me she would be undergoing treatment, and there was a strong possibility she wouldn't make it. Now admittedly, when she told me this, it conjured every death scene movie moment I could think of. You know what I'm talking about. The two close friends, they share last words that sum up their whole relationship, and then one peacefully slips away with a final breath or post-death monologue. I have been, and always shall be, your friend. Live long and prosper. God, I wish it was that way. But in truth, it's a long, arduous process. Over the past 10 months, I have seen cancer slowly break down my mother from a fully functional person that we all knew and loved to an invalid, a mere shadow of her former self, imprisoned in her own body and lucky to have barely a moment or two where she can communicate with the outside world. This was not a fast process. It all happened over a long period of time. Each day, every day, she slipped away just a little bit more until ultimately, She's basically gone. Now, why am I telling you this? Well, the big lesson I learned here is the obvious one. Life is fleeting. My mother was the strongest person I've ever met and has shaped my life in countless ways that she will never know because I didn't tell her. So do me a favor. Look around you. Find someone that you love and remind them that you do. Believe me, no matter how much time you spend talking to someone you love, when they're gone, you realize that it was never truly enough. Peace and thank you. Okay, I love you, sweetheart. Bye-bye, son.